Alright guys, so today I'm going to be teaching you guys four different animated distortion effects. So, I'm just going to be using this Minecraft Steve on their lap for example. So, I'm going to show you guys an example how they look right now. So the first one we're going to do is uh, the vortex one. So first thing you want to do is head over to fusion and then you want to click shift space and you bring this up and search up vortex but make sure it's the the one with the pencil not with the little space thing. Just get the one with the pencil one and you add and the first thing you want to do is decide where do you want the animation to begin. In this example I'm just going to start at 15 frames right here. And then next thing I'm going to do is decrease the size right here. And then keyframe everything. Uh, click on these little diamonds into the red. So now this is keyframed at 15. Now we want to change it to 20. And then we're going to bump up the size. And then put it where you want it to go. I'm going to put it at the face for right now. And I'm going to want this to like, like go in, like in a circle around his face. So you know it makes some kind of weird effect. So I'm going to do this by 10 frames. So... I'm gonna adjust my thing every 10 frames. You could do it less or more, but the lesser you go, the faster it's gonna be, but the more you go, the slower it's gonna be. So I'm just gonna go 30, and then I'm gonna position it a bit differently right here, and I go to 40, and then I bring it down over here, 50, and then I bring it down, and then 60, and then I move to the left. So basically, you just keep framing where you want your effect to move. And this is the last one I'll bring to the side. You got more effects to this, like camera shake or zoom in effects, but this is just the basics, how it looks. Alright, our second uh, effect is going to be waviness. So, this is just going to act like a little wavy effect on your image or video. So, the first thing you want to do again is go to fusion you could do this in edit tab or fusion but i just prefer fusion shift space and you're gonna search up wavy waviness right here and you click on it now you can as you can see already there's like some wavy effect if you want it, the waviness to be vertical or horizontal it's already up to you i'm just gonna have it vertical for now and you can see the scale like how much waviness you want and there's the strength like how much it distorts it and you gotta you want to make sure that this box is is checked on at animate because if you don't have it on animate it's going to stay there like the same frame but if you put animate it's actually going to move so if you wanted to bump it up to speed if you want it doesn't really matter here i should have like this speed like if i want to go crazy speed it's going to go fast that's basically it for the waviness and for our fourth one we're going to be using the ripple effect which is like a Almost like a water effect, but like ripples. So again, fusion, shift, space, and you search up ripple. You add it, and then if you see here, um, you're gonna see these little white things. Uh, if you don't want that, you could take off shine. But other than that, make sure this button is animated as well. You click on that, and it should have some little ripple effect. And you could change the size of this one. You could have it on his face. You can also change the frequency, which is like the scale. Actually, I'm just going to have it like this. There you go. So as soon as, as you have it as you want it, you should be good to go. And yeah, that's all for the Ripple one. And it's a fun one just to have around. And for the last one, uh, it's going to be the Dent effect. Well, this is not really an animated one, but it's still one that you could use. I prefer you guys to check out these right here. There's different types. There's Dent 2, Dent 3. And there's like some other ones here. If you guys want to use like the big brain meme effect, you guys could either use dent two or sign a dent. So you just move it to his brain. Not his brain. <laughs> you could change the size. Um, that's basically the dent. There's no really animation for this one. If you're trying to do this to like a someone that's moving, then you're gonna have to uh, track it, just like the keyframe as we did with the the vortex. So you just basically keyframe it, and then you just move it around. Alright guys, so this is the end of the video, and um, I just want to say, only 0.1% of my audience are subscribed. Oh, I know. <sighs> I really appreciate you guys subscribe, and 
If you guys will have any questions, comments, or suggestions, just leave them in the comment section. And I'll actually review them. Thanks for watching. Have a good day. And peace.